You know, it's common practice uh, when you invest in real estate in South America to do so through a corporation. So for example, many people that buy real estate in like Panama or Costa Rica, for example, rather than buying the property in their own name, they set up a Panamanian corporation, for example, and then buy the property using the Panamanian corporation. So in the end, you have the person owning shares in a Panamanian corporation and that Panamanian corporation owning the property. Now, the reason that most foreign lawyers in uh, Central and South America recommend this is to avoid the country's transfer taxes. So let's say, for example, you were to buy the real estate and own it directly in your name. If you then sold that to somebody else, the government would charge you a transfer tax of a few percent, uh, depending on the country, the percentages vary, on the transfer. So let's say it's a $100,000 transfer and the transfer tax is 3% you wind up paying $3,000 transfer tax to sell the property and transfer it to somebody else. Now, by using a foreign corporation, you can avoid this because you don't own the property, the corporation does, you only own the shares. And you can transfer those shares to somebody else without having to pay the transfer tax. It's a pretty good workaround. I, I understand the benefits of this uh, in the foreign country. It's great. But most advisors in these countries are very unaware of what the implications of owning a foreign corporation in the United States is. And so there's a lot of Americans that go to South America, set up a corporation, buy property, and have no idea what this is going to do to them for U.S. tax purposes. Well, I'm going to tell you what it's going to do. If you own a foreign corporation, you've got to file a super complex form called Form 5471. you probably got to file a 926, maybe an 8839. And these forms can be very complex, especially the 5471 basically is a tax return for a foreign corporation. And also, if that foreign corporation is generating any type of income, that could be attributed to you personally, whether or not you actually receive the income. So for example, your corporation could make rental income of 100,000. And even though you don't take the money out of the company, you still have to pay tax on that 100,000. It's very complex. There are some advantages to it but you have to make sure what you're getting into. So if you've already bought property and you have a foreign corporation and you don't know if you've been reporting it properly, come to Esquire Group, we'll get it sorted out for you. Or if you're thinking about investing in property in South America, it's been recommended to you to set up a foreign corporation, give us a call for a consultation and we'll tell you what all the tax ramifications and benefits are of doing through a, corp through a corporation so you can make an informed decision. We look forward to speaking with you. Check us out at EsquireGroup.com.